everyone. Welcome to another episode of Dries's Kitchen. Today we're going to prepare another three course meal. A starter, a main course and a dessert. Oli, what are we doing for them today? A beef luncheon salad. Mm. Beef macaroni. Beef macaroni. Roller, roller, roni. And a beignet. And some panquette beignets. Here we are, luncheon meat out of the can, all ready to go. Oli is going to slice this for us. A small can. I think there's approximately 125 gram can. We'll tell you exactly. Uh, can you bring me the small can of luncheon meat so we can tell them the size? Oli, please chop that up. All right, we also have some cheddar cheese, which we're gonna cut up into cubes. This is also gonna go into the salad. About another 125 grams of cheddar cheese here already. Okay, we've got a whole tomato, which has been also chopped here, and two sprigs or two two pieces of spring onion, which have also been chopped. Now, I've got a little bit of olive oil in here. We're going to put the luncheon meat into, into the, the pan, and we're going to saute it for the very simple reason that, thank you, thank you, Ken, for the simple reason that luncheon meat, you know, it's a good product, but sometimes it needs a bit of beefing up. I mean, this is chicken, it's not beef, but nevertheless, luncheon meat needs a bit of beefing up. And I think when we saute it, we sort of char the edges, it changes a little bit of the flavor, it brings out some of the spices and ingredients. I think there's a lot of black pepper or white pepper in this because this white pepper flavor starts to surface. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to saute it a bit. Now, this can is 200 grams, all right, and it's a whole lot. I mean, this will feed, as a starter, I think only at least four people. So, you know, these things, they go a long way. You just have to know how to manipulate them, okay? As this is being sauteed, what we're going to do is Oli is going to put the onions and the tomato and the spring onion all into this nice white bowl, which is where we're going to mix everything when it's ready, okay? We'll also put all the cheese in there. There goes the cheese. Okay, and um, you know, we'll wait for this to, to cook a little more as well, okay? This will take another maybe about three and a half minutes. It's browning at the moment, yeah? So we'll just wait another three and a half minutes for this. Okay, meanwhile, I think what we can do, Oli, to save time as this is browning, we'll put some olive oil in there, all right? Maybe about, come in please, it's okay, walking in. You're on candid camera, okay? Let's say this is about about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of olive oil, okay? All right. And then we're going to put some lime as well, some fresh lime, uh, about, I would say, about a whole lime. Yeah, one whole lime would be sufficient. Huh? All right, there we are. You know, these uh, luncheon meat now has cooked. As you can see, it's a bit crispy and brown on the outside. Okay, I'm actually surprised at this product. We've just had a taste behind the scene and this is a good product. A surprise to everyone who's tasted it. Okay, now we put that in here. Okay, and then mix the whole thing up. There we are. Yeah. Come and look at this, Karen. Come around. Okay. Okay. Now, can we have a little bit of cani, Oli? Just a little bit of cani. I mean, it's a nice salad. You can serve it in a buffet and um, simple and acceptable to everyone. It's, it's chicken that tastes like hot dog and it's not pork. Yeah? All right. So there we are. We have actually discovered a brand new product and it's a good product. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough now. Okay. Just throw that. Yeah, this is some chili pepper. A little bit of chili pepper for flavor. Okay, Oli, there we are. Let's lay this on a plate. There. Okay, a pinch of black pepper. I don't think we need any salt. Huh? No, we don't need any salt, really. I mean, I'll put some just for the sake of it. But, you know, the salt I'm putting here, it's only for the tomatoes there. But that cheese and that luncheon meat is full of flavor. You don't need to add anything on that. It's good stuff. A cheap 
and good meal. Yeah, and this will feed you four guests on your table as a starter with some salad. You know, maybe put some salad at the base of it. Okay, I'm going to take some uh, marjoram, okay, which is a very strong tasting herb. Um, and I'm basically just going to throw these marjoram leaves all around. Marjoram is a very perfumed herb. It's full of perfume. You know, very unusual products, really. Fresh marjoram. I don't know. And, you know, very few people use marjoram. Everybody knows basil and everybody knows, uh, you know, oregano and thyme. Huh? But this is... Oh, come here, come here, Mr. Shogun. Smell this. Mm? Yeah. Do you want to smell this too? Huh? It's full of, okay. And then what we'll do is we'll take a little flower, a marjoram flower, and then we will put it here as a small but final touch. There we are, we're ready. Quick salad, you know, very easy, very clean, very efficient, the very inexpensive. And it's healthy. You've got tomatoes, you've got onions, you've got cheese, you've got a bit of meat. It's healthy. Olive oil. I mean, what else do you want? It's not junk food. It's good food. Enjoy it. Bursting with flavors. All of that in your mouth. Mm, all that flavor just here. I could eat it all right now. All those bursting varieties of different ingredients, textures, flavors. Yum. I can see your mouth watering, cameraman. You're getting hungry too. Well, here we have the biggest surprise of our cooking session so far. This is something we never thought would work, and it has worked beautifully. The marriage of this wonderful luncheon meat, grilled to perfection, together with some nice cheddar cheese, tomato, onions, olive oil, black pepper. It really is a wonderful combination. Try it, it goes a long way. Bonjour, madame. Uh, on vous, s'il vous plaît, si vous pouvez goûter cet uh, plat pour nous. On a essayé quelque chose de nouveau aujourd'hui avec du oui, uh, luncheon beef, c'est du poulet et c'est halal à 100%. Um, Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait là On a grillé, on les a coupés dans des petits aimants et on les a grillés. Après, on a mélangé avec de l'huile d'olive, du tomate, uh, d'oignon, du fromage et un peu de poivre et du citron. citron. S'il vous plaît, vous pouvez goûter pour me dire ce que vous pensez. I've just explained everything to her in French. I don't think that needs translating. Vous pouvez prendre un peu de tomate et tout ça, les oignons. Oui, tout. C'est bon? Okay, c'est excellent. Okay, the lady thinks that it's nice. She actually says it's excellent. Uh, that's very satisfying to us. Another very happy customer. There we are. Vous voulez goûter aussi? Venez. Ah. Et oui, parce que normalement, tu sais, on ne le mange pas parce que c'est un peu processed. Hein? Mais dans cette manière-là, ça, ça a bien passé. Tiens. Et votre mari aussi, peut-être? A goûté un peu? Hein? Hein? Tiens, bien goûte. Ah, tiens, prenez-le comme ça. C'est mieux comme ça. Tiens, il faut prendre comme ça avec un peu de tomate, un peu de tout dedans. Bon appétit. Oups, tiens. Hein? C'est bon? Ça passe bien? Hein? Ah oui, on y va. Yalla, tiens. J'aime bien les gens comme toi. We have a very happy customer here. He wants a second helping. Hooray! Tiens, on y va. Oh, there. Everybody clap for him. Hooray! There we are. Happy customer. Tiens, c'est pour vous. Mangez tout. Bon appétit. Hooray! Merci. Now we start with our main course. Our beef macaroni armanti style. You see, the thing with macaroni is you don't want to boil it till it's too soft and soggy. And looking at this one here, the texture tells me that this product will boil al dente, what we call al dente, meaning boil to perfection. Spaghetti, pasta, macaroni should be chewable. It shouldn't be raw. If it's raw, you can tell from the taste. It should be cooked, but it shouldn't be soggy and it shouldn't be soft. 
you should be able to get a bite. Like rice, you should bite it. It should give you texture in the mouth. Okay, we're gonna throw in some macaroni in here. Uh, let's say this is approximately about, I would say only this, what about 150 grams of macaroni, something like that, okay? So what we do, we cover it back, let it simmer. Throw some salt, okay? A little bit of salt inside. Okay, we say about a handful of salt inside. And if you have a little bit of oil or a little bit of olive oil, throw it inside as well because it prevents the macaroni from sticking. I've got a little bit of olive oil here from the pan. It could be normal oil. Instead of wasting it, I pour it in here and this allows it to stay uh, in pieces. Bon, merci beaucoup pour votre support. Vous allez assez? Okay, vas-y. Uh, so yeah, that, that prevents it from sticking. Uh, it boils probably for about 12 to 15 minutes, okay? All right, Ali, yes. on a besoin d'un peu de viande, s'il te plaît, pour le macaroni. Then we've got two onions over here. Two onions that we're going to chop, chop very fine. And then four cloves of garlic, four nice fresh cloves of garlic we're also going to use. All right? This is all going to be sautéed together with the cube beef. Do, do, oui, mais c'est ton, j'espère? Comme du beurre. Okay, he says the beef is like butter. All right, merci beaucoup, Ali. He's giving us some cube beef here. Ali says it's as tender as butter. We'll have to see when we're ready with that. Okay? Okay, let's go, Oli. All into the pan. All right, everything into the pan, please. And... Yes, that's it. Excellent, that's it. We've got it. All sizzling in there. Now, what I need is a wooden spoon. Can I get a nice wooden spoon? Okay. All right, a nice wooden spoon. And then over here. Uh, and you know what we'll do, Oli, this time? This time, let's use some fresh basil. Grown in my garden as well. Okay. Oh, wow, this looks good. This looks like good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. I'm going to throw some of this wonderful, wonderful sea salt, okay? This is this beautiful stuff here that we call our local fresh sea salt. Excellent, huh? And then I'm going to throw some of this wonderful, wonderful coarse black pepper. There we are. This is called beautiful black pepper. Nice and coarse, okay? So there we are. Now this is cooking nicely over here. Yeah, ch you want to check the macaroni, Oli, please? Whoops, this is extremely hot. Yeah, all right, there we are. Extremely hot. This is a beautiful dish, Oli. I am, I'm impressed. I really am impressed. Okay, impressed with this. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. We're getting better and better at what we do. Huh? It's okay now? All right, so what we're going to do... The pasta is al dente. We're going to pour it through a sieve. Again, I'm going to start preparing my tomato paste. Hello, a little bowl, please, for my tomato paste. Again, I go for this sort of measurements that we are doing, which is the size of the baking pan that we're using. I go with two tablespoons. All right, this beef here has been simmering for about, I would say, three and a half to four minutes. Meanwhile, I've had time to prepare my nice tomato paste which I'm going to pour into here. All right, there we are. Now, you might think I exaggerate on tomato paste, but look, this is my way with this particular wholesome domestic type dishes. You know, I wouldn't do this in the other form of cooking we do, which is a more al fresco, more, you know, sort of contemporary cuisine that involves short processes, freshness and all of that. I wouldn't use tomato paste at all. But well, we're cooking some traditional dishes here, some very, you know, from very classic dishes. This is what you call comfort food. We are making comfort food. And tomato paste is part of comfort food, yeah? Just as much as mashed potato is, all right? Now, another thing I want to tell you, we've been serving our, our main courses, you know, in one piece, a portion size on a plate. That's not necessarily how you should do it. Serve it on a plate, spoon it. You know, do whatever you want. Serve it with potatoes, serve it with rice, serve it with salad, serve it with bread. You know, serve it like a meal. What we are doing here is we're presenting to you what it should look like. Okay? So go for it and do it the normal and natural way. All right? So there we are. Now we're also going to throw 
some nice fresh basil. Now basil grows as well in my garden, okay? This basil grows in my garden in Bigelow, all right? And it's a beautiful herb. It's full of essence, full of flavor. You know, the Italians couldn't live without basil. They eat basil with almost everything. They eat it with tomatoes, they eat it with olive oil, they eat it in pesto, they do every damn thing with basil. I don't know about the rest, you know, but I would imagine it goes as far as the bedroom as well. Oops. Yeah, there we are. Shall we put some more in there? Yeah, okay, a little more basil. Now, I've, I'm being a bit messy today. It must be because I had a pretty late night yesterday with my brother. He kept me up pretty late, but that's okay. It's all part of cooking. There we are. All right. Yes, I had a late night, a very, a very late night. All talking, 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 talking. All night talking, talking. Okay, Oli. So more basil in there. Mm. Oh, this is good stuff. This is really, really good stuff. Yeah. Okay, again, some more basil in here. Okay. Now, this place is not messy, believe me. This is just black pepper and little bits of this and little bits of that. So don't you worry about it, you know. We're usually very tidy people. Oli, I think we're ready now. Okay. What we do is we're going to mix this pasta um, together with this sauce over here. Okay, stir it all up together, Oli. Stir it all up together. There we are. This is all ready for washing. Okay. All ready. Now look at this. Doesn't this look nice? Armanti macaroni. Okay. With beef. You know, real chunks of beef. Uh, fresh basil in there. Uh, a wonderful tomato base. You could actually eat this like this if you wanted to. But we're not going to do it like that. What we're going to do is we're going to take this here, okay? We're going to fill it up in this baking pan over here, okay? All right, all of it in here. There we are, all done. All done, all done, okay? And then we're going to take some wonderful, some wonderful uh, cheddar cheese, okay? Brother's plate, let your sister, you know, take a piece, slop it onto her plate, you know, be a family. Be a family, eat together, share your food, be a family. It's all about being a family. There we are. Now this is ready. And then into the oven. All ready, you see? There we are. All ready for the oven. A nice macaroni. Macaroni, roni, roni. Roni, roni. All right. The macaroni has been in the oven for about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. I'll give you a trick. Most homes don't have a salamander, but if you had a salamander, all you got to do is put this macaroni in the salamander and it grills it from the top. The cheese melts and you remove it because it's already been cooked and it was hot when we poured it into the pan. But also you can put it into your oven, heat it up a bit and use your grill, which is the top part of your oven that will also melt the cheese. Okay, let's go Oli. We're going to cut this now. Okay. Um, there we are. Okay, small little cubes. Okay, now let's try and remove this and see if we can get the desired results. Okay. Wow, it did work. It did stay together. A little bit of tomato for decoration. Okay. And the basil oli, I would like them in pieces as well. Small, get me the smallest pieces of basil you have over there. The smallest pieces of basil okay let's see yeah small pieces of basil I don't want to to I just want to throw them all around the plate a little bit of basil here and there a little bit of basil here and there the basil is also for flavor you know we've got a lot of basil in this okay already all right all right and then what I will do Oli is I will just take a little bit of the basil flour yeah a little bit of the basil flour uh, which is this, just a tiny little bit, okay, and put it over here. Now, Mrs. Clark, can you please do us a favor? Come and taste this, tell us what you think about it. Uh, shall we put it there maybe for... It's fine, okay. All right, can we have a, a fork, please? Hello, Mrs. Clark, welcome to Dries's Kitchen. As usual. All right, we are preparing a 24-episode program on cooking. 
it's going to be targeted, I hope, at the young men and women from maybe the age of 13, 12, 10, 9 to 19, those who have not had experience with cooking yet. What we're trying to do is we're trying to teach them the basic dishes, your lasagna, your pasta, your moussaka, your spaghetti, everything a young person needs to know to be able to prepare food for themselves, inexpensive, tasty and healthy, mouth bursting with flavor, food, okay? Oh, Stuff that you can prepare at home as well and keep in the fridge and reheat whenever you want. Okay, Oli, stand up please. And reheat whenever you want, okay? This is like comfort food, it's family food, it's for the home. Maybe if we have success with this program, we'll start going into finer and finer cuisine. But please try this. This is a spaghetti, I'm sorry, a macaroni, macaroni. with beef. I would put some chili pepper on it too. Yes, chili yes. pepper, yeah. Quite good. Is it really good? Scrumptious? Mm -hmm. Is it bursting in the mouth with flavor? Yeah? Can you feel all the different ingredients coming out and the fresh herbs? That's why I can't see anything. Oh, wow. We've got another satisfied customer. <laughs> Mrs. Clark, the star for today. Yeah. Lovely. Good. Eat it. Thank you. You're welcome. Give her some pepper, some pepper, fresh pepper, our beef macaroni. Mrs. Clark has confirmed that it's good. She is the principal and owner of Zenit High School. And if she thinks it's good, I'm sure it's good for all you children. Um, she, she basically, I think, decides as well what the kids eat. So there you are. Cook it for your children. Cook it for your family. Enjoy. Bon appétit. All right, dessert time. Great beignets. Panquette in Wolof, beignet in French. Donuts in American. Here we are. We're gonna use in this recipe, one cup of flour, one cup of this wonderful milk, and then we're going to use one sachet of vanilla sugar. You can buy that at your local corner store. All right, we're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, we're going to use, uh, let's say, probably a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of yeast. And then we're going to use maybe about, let's say, a tablespoon of butter and one egg, one of our fresh, organic, free-range eggs. And we'll use some desiccated coconut to give it some texture and some flavor. We'll put sugar as we feel maybe just a tablespoon or maybe even half a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, there we are. Please, Alfonsi and Chef, let's go. Let's start. All right, Alfonsi filling the one cup of flour into her measuring cup. You can use a traditional cup at home if you wish. There we are, one leveled out cup. All right, we have over here a teaspoon of yeast. Okay, mix it all together with the flour. Uh, we have a tablespoon of coconut. I would put two more, please. Put me two more. Put me two more tablespoons of coconut. Yeah. And one more table. So that one more. One more, please. Yeah. Three tablespoons of coconut. So you get this, this bite. You know, you've got to give it bite, crunch, bursting in the mouth, you know, texture, all of that. One tablespoon will hardly do anything. You'll get a hint. No hints here. Give it what it deserves. Give it its value. Give it its, its texture. Okay? And then one tablespoon of sugar. You know, I'm against sugar. So sugar, really, as little as possible. Try and substitute the sweetness with something else. Either with a fruit or either with something else. But sugar, please, keep it low. Okay? Vanilla essence. One vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar. One. One, uh, one sachet of vanilla sugar. And now, last but not least, the Almanti evaporated milk. Okay. She actually used about three quarters of a cup. It should be a whole cup, Al 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 Alfonsi. Oh, there we are. Now it's about a cup. That's about a cup of milk. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, now Mr. Barrow here is uh, stirring it all up. I can see the coconut giving it a little bit of texture. All right, now we have Mr. Barrow. Can you please 
This is the texture. We're putting our one teaspoon of vanilla essence in there. Okay. All being served. And then we have the egg. Well, let's say another tablespoon of butter. All right. Coming in. Just throw it all in. It's okay. Tablespoon of butter. All right. And then one egg. All right. One egg going in there. And now we have a nice mixture over here. Ready to prepare a beautiful beignet. Let's see how your butter tastes, Mr. Barrow. Mm. Delicious. Excellent. Sizzling, cooking, sizzling, cooking. Wow, look at those golden colored beignets. Beautiful. There, everything's ready. This beautiful golden colored beignets ready to go into your mouth, about to fill you with surprises. A bit of ice cream with it would go down well. As a matter of fact, gentlemen, I can't wait. Let's take a look at this. Mm, beautiful. Wow, look at that. Oops. All night. Mm. Mm, so good. There's nothing like good food. Mm. So good, I can't even talk. Please, I've got to hide and eat this. Buy some pistachio ice cream, melt it. Okay, place your beignets on top and find some colorful fruits that you can use to decorate it. Again, we've got color, texture, flavor, everything combining together, visual appeal, all bursting in the spirit here. Everything is like completely, oh, what's the word I can use now? It's, it's actually enlightening. This is also enlightening. Enjoy it. Take a deep bite. Oh, bon appétit. Now we're going to have Awa from across the road at Palm Real Estate tell us what she thinks. Awa, can you please come and tell us what you think of this? Yes, come round. What I'm feeding you here is a beignet, what you would call panquette, okay? On top of nice sort of pistachio cream, basically it's ice cream that we've melted. Please take a bite. Here we are. Take a bite of this with the sauce and everything. Here you are. And tell me what you think. Are you experiencing, experiencing something happening inside of you yes, right this now? Is excellent. Really? I've never tasted something like this before. Are you serious? Really she nice. says she's never tasted something like this before. Really I mean, nice. is it like bursting in your mouth? It's working now. Oh my God. Are you getting. Oh man. Okay. It's getting better. Hey, it's working all over. You can do it with food. Try it with food. Oh, thank you very much. We've got another satisfied customer here. She says it's making her body shiver. Is that what it's doing to you? Exactly. Oh, yeah, it's making her body shiver. There you are. Results with food. Here, eat it all, but be careful because you've got to go home. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining a yet another episode of Dries' Kitchen. It's been a really hot day today, and it's been hard for all of us, but we've got through it and we've managed. I hope you've enjoyed the three meal dishes that we've prepared for you. And as Awa just said to us, this dessert she's having has driven her wild. We must send her home with an escort tonight. Please join us again next week. We look forward to cooking with you again. Thank you very much. Bye.